It gives us some key phrases. First it says God for man. Of the dust of the ground. But here is the key. God breathed into him. The breath of life. And man became a living soul. Pastor, this is where we find out the key. Because the question is. Does the Bible say that God put an immortal soul into Adam? No, it didn't say that. Instead, it reveals the formula of a human being. Look right here on the screen. It says the dust and the spirit equals a living soul. So, in another way to describe it, the elements of the earth, which is the dust, and this is the breath of God. This makes a living being. So a living soul means a living person. So when God breathed into Adam, that's when he became a living being or a living person. This is very important that we know. You see, a living soul is a living person. In that too. Pamene is a team I excited. I am 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 excited. I I I Ni prayer ya mulungu na toti. Izi zitu zivini zika mwazikana. Palipe mtu wa moyo. Mwaiti. Kulipe chamene chipumula mumtendere. Amen. 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 So the conclusion is. Mwaiti. Kusiri zakani ni kwa kutu. I don't have a soul. Ine nilipe umuntu wa moyo. I am. A soul. I'm a living creature. I'm a person. And so are you. So we might say, What is this soul? Nanga, Is it immortal? Or can it ever die? And this is where we go to the Bible. In Ezekiel 18, 18 4. It says, Behold, Yamana, all souls are mine. The soul of the Father. As well as the soul of the son is mine. Now, the soul who sins shall die. So the question is, can the soul die according to the Bible? And right here we see the answer is yes. Because it says the soul that sins, it shall what? It shall die. 